walking this way. Please come back. Something just fell from above. I'm out of here. You who aren't. She's gone. We should get out of here too. Teeth chattering, Paimon. You must be really scared. I, I understand. I'm scared too. What? Paimon's teeth aren't chattering. But I heard a rattling sound. Was that not you? It's definitely not Paimon. Wait. It seems to be coming from inside the shrine. There's something over there. It's just a cat. Thank goodness. Huh. This doesn't seem to be the right way. Let's try another path. What we're looking for. Oh, and Paimon thought we had it too. Uh, is it just Paimon? Or is there an eerie shadow over there? Uh, you're right. Run! Wait for Paimon! Please leave Paimon alone. Paimon doesn't taste very good. Yeah, me neither. hide here and take a nap. Don't worry, there doesn't appear to be anything scary here. Whew, thank goodness. We finally made it to a safe spot. Uh, Sayu? Was that statue always facing this way? And why does Paimon have a feeling that it's staring right at us? What? That can't be right. This is supposed to be a safe place. Uh, we have to hightail it out of here. You who aren't, let's go! Run! There sure are a lot of lanterns here. Are they supposed to guide us? I heard there are lanterns that release a chilly breeze to guide spirits to be reincarnated. should be safe. I can't believe I made it this far. Hey, did I get any taller? Really? <laughs> That's great. Enough about that. Look, isn't this the fan we're looking for? It has fireworks painted on it, so it must be for some kind of festival. So does that mean the second round of the Test of Courage is over now? Yep, seems like it. Great. <sighs> because I was just starting to feel sleepy. Hmm. Wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about him. Uh, why don't we have a look around? In that case, I'll take the fan back with me and have a little nap. Just don't stay out here too long. <laughs> I've got you now. Ah, just run! Don't worry about me. Ha! Don't 
underestimate this, Oni. None of you are getting away today. Hey, it's Ito! It looks like he captured those three we were looking for! Let's go see! Wow, Ito, you really captured them! Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you? Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. And if you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your stomach. Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? Uh, and Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Hmm, I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Ah, oh, I know. These are all creatures from the Ultimate Yokai Field Guide that Granny used to show me. There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. They're all yokai. It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away. You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. Oh, pfft, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people are scared of. Hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you following him around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. So it was you three. No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to... Uh... Um... Uh... Really? You're not... mad? Even though you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times, it doesn't seem like you were doing it on purpose. Anyway, let's hear your side of the story, and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you. Um, well, the truth is, we were planning a festival. One hosted by the yokai, but humans are also welcome to attend. Ah, the festival that A mentioned! Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh, that does ring a bell. Oh, right, it used to be hosted by the top yokai. I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun. I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival, but still. Yes, the Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But we're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters. Ah, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but, uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to ya. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. So, are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yup, that was us. Have you tried it yet? Isn't it fun? We drew inspiration from the legendary Akitsu Hazura. It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. After that, we didn't have much yokai power left, so we set up some stalls in the forest to add to the festival atmosphere. We were just following you to see your reactions. Is the Akitsu Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimo would have taken the traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? To be honest, we've never met a human before, so we had no idea what you would like. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, I know the one. It's the story of yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago.